right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, we're the brothers from uh, Grace Millstone, Atlanta, with another lesson, Lord willing, it's edifying. But before we get started, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, out there that's pushing his truth and truth sincerity. Uh, we're going to go into um, prophecy concerning uh, World War III because we have an article from um, a Business Insider on um, events leading up to um, Iran. All right. And we all know, um, us that's in the know, that we all know that. Um, when uh, Israel goes into Iran, man, that's when uh, all hell's gonna break loose. All right, so we're just gonna go into some prophecies, and uh, you know, Lord willing, you edifying, because this this is the time that we're in. All right, the scriptures say our salvation is nearer than when we believe, and um, you know, brothers have been um, putting up um, uh, throwbacks, so to speak, of the apostles and elders from uh, 10, 11 years ago, and when you watch those videos. They go into World War Three. So how much more now, in 2019, the year Karak? I mean, we understand too that you know uh, the, the sequence of events has to happen. You know the chip has to be implemented, and then is World War Three. All right. So um, you know for you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's a high time to wake out of sleep. That spiritual dead state that you're in. All right, because it's, there's going to be no more uh, cloak for your sins. When these uh these uh troubles come upon the earth, all mm -hmm. right. So we got any scriptures to open up with? Come. Revelation chapter eleven verse fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. Yeah, that's the second woe uh, was World War Two, and the third woe was World War Three. The war to end all wars, so to speak. Um, what was that guy's name? Einstein said that um, World War Four will be fought with uh, sticks and stones. Okay. Because basically what he was saying was the Third World War is going to be fought. Um, it's going to be a nuclear war. Could you get um, Isaiah 95? Because this, this isn't going to be an old battle. It's going to be fought with tanks and, um, you know, just regular, um, you know, you know, guns and whatnot. All right. And then and it sure as hell ain't going to be fought by no damn volcanoes, man. All right. But you simpletons out there. You Larry Moe and Curly's, man. But. We're going to get into uh, how this third world war is going to happen. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is the is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. So you think about them old days how you you know you had swords. They went out with swords. Um, they, they advanced to the Gatling gun. All right. When you, when, um, you had the war set. You had the, the war of independence so to speak here in America. You know, they had different formations where they would cock back and shoot and then go into another formation. But the scripture talks about this third world war and how we, how we fought. Come. But this should be with burning and fuel of fire. With burning and fuel of fire. And the only way how that's going to happen is from the nuclear missiles. When you go to Isaiah um, uh, 54 and 16, it talks about the smith, all right, who's creating these instruments. And um, Yahweh Shai is not the Smith man, okay? It's, it's um, these uh, scientists that the Lord has put the spirit on to, to create these uh, nuclear missiles, okay? Like when you have a blacksmith, he goes in and creates a sword, all right? And a modern day sword that's gonna be used to fight, fight this war is an intercontinental ballistic missiles. And you, you, like, you have to use common sense to actually add these things up because that that's what the Holy Spirit gives you common sense. Okay, when when Russia develops a missile called Satan 2, all right, Satan 1, Satan 2, and other hypersonic missiles that can be shot over here literally in 15 minutes. All right, when you when you halfway dip, when you halfway done taking your lunch break at, at your job, they can send a missile over here. So you have, you have to link up what the scriptures are saying to to modern day articles. All right, is 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 not hard when you when you when you have the Holy Spirit. All right, that's what that's what's keeping these guys, uh, you know, confused because they can't link up the scriptures with, with these articles. You know, I got um, a word because huh. uh, you brought up that in Isaiah fifty four. Right, going to the Smith. Let me go ahead and read it real quick. Um, <clears throat> this is 
is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire and that bring forth an instrument for his work and I have created the waster to destroy. When you go into that word smith, it is um, H 2796, uh, Harash. And it says, um, a craftsman, artisan, engraver. But going into the word, the Strong's, it says, um, from H2790, a fabricator or a fabricator or any material, art, artificer, carpenter, craftsman, engraver, maker, mason, skillful, smith, worker, workman, such as rock. You know, so like like the brother was saying, it's gonna be it's gonna be a uh, uh, people or persons who are actually gonna be on earth to use the elements on the earth mm -hmm. to create um, a, a weapon of a uh, mass destruction, so to speak. Yeah, you, you can look up the Manhattan Project. Mm -hmm. Just type up Manhattan Project and whoop, there it is, all right? Mm -hmm. It's right there in your face to, to look up, man. All right, the Lord put the spirit on these so-called white people to, to create weapons to destroy their own selves. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Like we are, we are in them times where Esau's being exposed and Esau is going to war against Esau, man. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to get into, man. Mm -hmm. So you got him. No, no. We'll go to the article. Okay. Okay. All right. So once again, this article is from uh, businessinsider.com. Uh, uh, it's entitled, The U.S. is sending a ton of firepower to take on Iran. Here's everything headed its way. Okay? And uh, like the brother was saying, this, you know, you know, ultimately, the the ultimate Smith and the ultimate ultimate creation to uh, to destroy are the thermonuclear ICBM uh, ICBM nuclear missiles. But there's other lower level weapons in which um, the Smith, all right, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, the 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 engineers and craftsmen of of war for Esau, even so called white man, even going back to um, the blessing that he was the blessing that Esau was given back in Genesis, man. Like the brother said, it all links up perfectly having a certain understanding of prophecy but a lot of a lot of guys out here that claim to um you know have the truth and push you know certain things with the scriptures in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai they can't understand prophecy you know they don't have they don't have um that inkling to understand um the book because it's so prophetic mm -hmm. doing the revelations um it says um the bullet points it says in response to the threat of a possible attack on U.S. forces by Iran the U.S. military decided to send additional firepower to the Middle East. This includes an aircraft carrier with a full carrier air wing, one cruiser, four destroyers, a group of heavy bombers, fighters, an um, exp expeditionary warship, and a surface-to-air missile battery. So even with this, it says an aircraft carrier full, full of, um, of planes and helicopters, things like that, things that fly, a cruiser, four destroyers, heavy bombers, Fighters, a, a warship, and a surface-to-air missile battery. That's a that's a a moving military, man. Right. You know they're literally moving a a, a, a a heavy fighting force to this area, man. Right um, off the shores of Iran. The U.S. has warned that it will respond to any Iranian attack on U.S. interests with unrelenting force, and you best believe because even last week, Donald Trump said that um when he was asked by a reporter why. They, why they sent these forces over there to uh, the so-called Middle East? He said they had um, they had uh, captured intelligence saying that Iran was um, gearing up a plan an attack, mm -hmm. and in um, this goes into the, the lies and deceptions of Esau because they tried to say first that it was um, a matter of them attacking U.S. military, um, mil U.S. Uh, um, soldiers and military. But first of all, why are you even over there? First of all, but then second of all, they also trying to say that there um, there's a report of them attacking um, U.S. interests. So it goes into what one is the, the 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 numbers of military bases that are surrounding Iran, or two, they're um, trying to once again protect the state of Israel, man. All right, those are those are the U.S. interests, okay, in that area, okay, in that vicinity. All right, getting into the article, says <clears throat> the U.S. military is sending a carrier strike group, a bomber task force, <clears throat> fighter jets, an amphibious landing ship, and a surface-to-air missile battery to the Middle East as a show of force to Iran. There is a ton of firepower headed that way. The U.S. Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group, 
which consists of the carrier and its powerful carrier air wing, as well as one cruiser and four destroyers began moving into the region with, with an unsus unspecified number of B-52 Stratosphere heavy, heavy long-range bombers earlier this week. And those um, B-52s, they aren't, they aren't the, the newest edition of the bombers, long-range bombers, but those are like the the uh, <clears throat> tried, tested, and true type of bombers, man. You know what I'm saying? That they have um, the um, experience going back, you know, 20, 30, I, I believe even 40 years. But it shows you, too, that they're saving their best stuff for Russia and China, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they got, I believe it's like the B-1B or B-2B, something like that. <coughs> like the hypersonic type of... Um, long range um bombers but they're sending this because they don't believe that iran they don't believe at, at this point in time that iran has the um the uh, capability to even fight their older their older things especially when they're sending their newer warships their newer missile the missile uh uh um cruisers their newer destroyers over there they're trying to it's a that's how even going back to uh how esau fights they have those big ships out there and they'll, even back in the day, it was cannons, mm -hmm. and they would just, you know, bombard you with uh, things from the from the um, from the sea. But now that they have planes, they're gonna they're gonna attempt to bombard uh, Iran and or, or whoever they decide to attack from the sea, and then just long bomb them, man, from long range, man. Uh, U.S. Air Force Central Command announced Thursday that F-15C Eagle fighter jets were repositioned within the theater to defend U.S. forces and interests in the region. On Friday, the Pentagon announced that the U.S. Arlington, an amphibious landing ship, and a Patriot surface-to-air missile battery are on the way. And that's to do what? To, um, to be prepared for any type of um, planes or drones or bombers, things of that nature, man. This, li they literally sent over a small military. Right. You no, know, this, this carrier group and this strike group would be have the force in one area that would be able to pretty much take down... Um, Smaller countries, man. You know? Those are any precepts you can always bring them out. I got some. It's Habakkuk chapter 2. Um, we'll start at 4 and go to verse 5. Because his soul which is lifted up is not right in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Verse 5. <coughs> yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as deaf. And cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, and heapeth, heapeth unto him all people. So ever since this devil came over here to the so-called new world under his doctrine of discovery, he's using that same mentality to go into these other nations. And why not? What? Why? Why not? Would Iran attack, man? When you look at a map and all the military bases surrounding Iran, why? Why would? You, why would Iran not attack, man? All right. But it goes to show you the pride of Esau because he thinks he can set up military bases everywhere on earth and he just he just won't go untouched. Like he like he's the big bad bully and he's like, and what? I'm sending all this over here and what? Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know that the Lord got his number, man. All right. And and, and the that's Lord that snare. That's that snare. He can't. And the Lord is using his own his own people against him, man. Mm -hmm. And best believe, uh, I think I think last week, um, the Ayatollah and um, um, the leader of Russia, Putin, met up like a week ago, two weeks ago. Best believe they're talking about what's going on. With the, they're trying to counterattack what the United States is, is trying to do, man. If I can say real quick, to build off what you just said, <clears throat> and the thing about it is Iran, um, they have a, a, a large standing army. They have a lot of actual men, you know, they can fight, but they don't have the 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 weaponry to defend of over this type of attack mm -hmm. and that's why so many of the that's why so many of these um other countries who haven't been pouring millions or billions of dollars to the military over the last decades that's why they're joining in league with russia mm -hmm. because russia has the capability just the, just the same way that us the us will produce you know warships and planes and missile defense systems They'll produce those not only for for them to use it and for them for them to have a certain posture of power militarily, but they'll produce them to sell to other countries as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see so many of these smaller so so called smaller countries joining up and out becoming allies with Russia because they they want to be, be allies with them 
so they can get the, the, the weaponry that's going to be needed to defend off a U.S. attack. Mm -hmm. Got some up. Come. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 29. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. So they, they, they got missiles pointed over here, man. Like over there, as soon as America uh, uh, strike Iran, that's it. <laughs> World War III. Mm -hmm. It says, Re recompense her according to her work, according to all that she had done, do unto her. But she has been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. And how was America proud? Well, they put us in slavery. They took the land from the northern kingdom and certain other lands in uh, Central America and put us in slavery. And also going across the world, like you said, putting their name on every land mm -hmm. to try to claim it that they're theirs. They still haven't got into Palestine yet, but they still trying to do it. Yeah. So like, most most are setting them up in their snare, in their evil snare. Bro. Like even um, uh, this week, the uh, the elder Ariella did an algorithm, and um, the the United States along with Israel. And, you know, fake Israel. They want to go into the Golan Heights region, which, which is between um, Israel and what, what Syria yeah, and um, yeah, the Euphrates. But they actually want to name that part of the land after Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. So Psalms forty nine eleven is speaking volumes when it comes to these devils, man. Because that land is part. That land they want to claim that land, but because the United States always has an interest in something, man. They're always going over. And they're not going over there for no reason. Right. All right, there, there's a large amount of oil over there in that Golan Heights region, and also you have a um, <clears throat> they, they they have a lot of resources as far as like uh, um, natural water. Yeah, it's part reserves. of the fertile crust. Kind of crust. Kind Northern uh, Lebanon got the good cedar woods mm -hmm. up there. So that's that's why Esau wants to go in there, man. Oh, the oil, the main thing, the oil. Mm -hmm. Kind. He has that John ten and ten mentality, man. Uh, kill and destroy, and that's why he's going over into that into that region, man. You know. Yep. But that's that's Esau for you, man. You know? Yeah, but that's why you know <clears throat> these these people, the, the masses of people out here, aren't con being able to connect these dots because they 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 the majority of these people they don't want to come to the realization that the world is gearing up for war. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even with Iran. Two, two major components going into why the U.S. is trying to control Iran. One, because Iran is very rich in uh, uh, natural resources, uh, primarily oil, okay, in which they can supply a large amount. They, they are supplying a large amount of oil to certain countries, mm -hmm. Russia, yep. um, China, you know, and other countries in which that's one of the things that the U.S. and the Trump administration are trying to put a squeeze on, trying to put a squeeze on uh, Iranian oil, oil exports and saying they're pretty much... If countries accept Iranian oil experts, uh, exports, they're pretty much it's pretty much a, a, a low level of um, declaration of war against the United States. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, pretty much what Esau's trying to do with Iran is try to sur surround Iran and pretty much just get them to just give up, you know. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh going put the spirit in these Iranians, man, to <clears throat> uh, uh, to fight to fight these devils, man, you know. And, and that's another thing too, as far as. Um, uh, the Trump administration is trying to be so big on Iranian denuclear denuclearization, okay? Because these Iranians know that if they if they give up their nuclear weapons or they discontinue um, uh, progressing their the <clears throat> the development of nuclear weaponry, that Esau's gonna come in and destroy them, man. So they 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 Esau's literally backed these Iranians up into into a corner in which they're gonna have to fight. They're gonna, gonna retaliate. They're gonna have to fight, or they're gonna just get just completely <coughs> uh, trampled in war, man. I got, I got some piece up after you. All right, come on. man. Just to just to back up, what um, what the officer was talking about. This is a uh, second Ezra is uh, fifteen, and um, I'm gonna start at twenty eight and go down to um, thirty. It says, "Behold, a horrible vision, and the appearance thereof from the east, when the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind." Upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power 
shall they come and join battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. So that goes into <clears throat> Iran because Iran is a uh, Iran is from the nation of Elam, okay? But they're going to link up with these other so-called Arab nations to go against the United States and we're clearly seeing that as the days goes by as uh you know it's like the United States is <clears throat> sending their small army with their artillery but then you got Russia who's going to link up with, like I said with these other Arab nations according to prophecy and countries like uh um, kind of Ezekiel 38 yeah that's a good one too you know um they're going to link up with Russia all these other nations that are allied against the United States and they're going to remember that um the scriptures say, uh, what does it say? Uh, Ishmael is a wild man. Mm -hmm. All right. So that wild spirit of Ishmael is going to come back on these nations. And, 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 and along with Russia, man, the United States is, is, is finished, man. That's why we put up that sign at camp. America is going to be destroyed, man. Yep. All right. Because it's not, going, it's not only going to take Russia. It's going to take all these other countries that are linked up with Russia, along with the United States allies. Best believe um, the United States... You know, they, they sent uh, nuclear warheads over to uh, India, man. And in exchange, India had to um, legalize um, uh, sexual relations between men with, you know, that, uh, that, that, that philosophy that they gave them. So it's, it's for them exchanging and open up uh, laws for so-called gays, they gave them all them goodies. But all those goodies are going to backfire on, on the United States, man. Yeah, Obadiah. Those who ate their bread or Confederate see with them to trade on them. Mm -hmm. And it's true because Admiral Pike wrote about that World War Three, And I'm going to let you get back to that. He wrote about that it's going to be a Muslim and Christian warfare. Mm -hmm. And America is like representing that Christian uh, uh, religion state. And, and, and you know, Iran, mm -hmm. they represent Muslims, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they, they know it's about to be a third world's war. Well, a lot of they those, got it from the scriptures too, though. So like a lot of those, um, yeah, it, it, they they are um, into that uh, religion of Islam because there's a lot of <coughs> Sunni Muslims in um, um, Iran. Mm -hmm. Demon. Right. Yeah, and then uh, like brother say, uh, our pipe was a big uh, Mason and Satanist too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you best believe that you know they were whipping up spells and you know getting certain um, prophetic insight from those left hand spirits. In which it, you know, the further and further, uh, the closer and closer that we get to the coming of our the, the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, those those left hand spirits and demons aren't going to be able to give them this, this uh, prophetic insight anymore, mm -hmm. or they or they're gonna um they're gonna misguide them. That's right. You got it. All right, I'm gonna go down to verse thirty one, and then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature, and if they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in great power to persecute them, so. Hey man, it's it's already it's already written, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's already written in the scriptures that these these events are going to happen, and we leak them up with these different articles, and the, the these areas are brewing up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when the scriptures talk about the Valley of Jehoshaphat, you know, the, the, those areas are really hot right now, man, because mm -hmm. the Lord is putting the spirit on these these world leaders to to uh, implement war, man, to fulfill the Lord's will, as it mentions in uh, Revelation 17. Mm -hmm. You know, this is all. Um, uh, directed by the Lord, who you hear me call uh, God or Jehovah, his real name is Yahweh, and his son Yahweh Shai, who you hear me call Jesus Christ. And contrary to what you've been taught in this church, these churches, because these churches, what well, is it like 11 30 right now, 12 o'clock? They just got it just, to church, it just, it just passed, it's 11 46, it was, it was 11 44. Yeah, but they, <laughs> but they probably went to church like 7 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, you got that morning service. But this is what's not being told in these churches. These kingdom halls, hell, not even these mosques. Well, that's because that's because of the mass of these people think that God has really blessed America, man. Right. You know, so even even the extension of these of uh, the U.S. military going out and doing these things and um, propping and positioning for war. You know, the, the mass of these people believe that uh, the Heavenly Father is with is with um, <clears throat> America. You know, not not understanding that. Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is going to destroy the, the U.S. military army and bring a lot of death and destruction to these American shores. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting an article just close out, sis. Just, just to, you know, for the sake of edification, going into what's being said over there, and then we can just finish it out. Okay. All right, so it says, um, 
These assets, according to the U.S. Central Command, are being currently deployed in response to clear indications that Iranian and Iranian proxy forces were making preparations to possibly attack U.S. forces in the region. Once again, why the fuck are you there? Right. Um, it says, uh, U.S. aircraft carrier, U.S. Abraham Lincoln, um, Admiral John Richardson, the chief of naval operations, previously described aircraft carriers as a tremendous expression of U.S. national power. A carrier strike group is, is, is an even stronger <clears throat> message. Um, GSGs, are U.S. carrier strike groups, are visible, are visible and powerful symbols of U.S. commitment and resolve, U.S. European Command said in a statement on Tuesday. The U.S. Abraham Lincoln, a mobile sea-based airfield. It's a mobile sea-based airfield. So even if you um, rob by like Dobbins and you see that small airfield, mm -hmm. it's like taking one of those and <coughs> moving it around the fucking world, man. Wow. It's the lead ship for the carrier strike group that bears its name and is outfitted with a highly capable carrier air wing. Continuing on and what's being sent over there. Carrier air wing, fighters, electric attack aircraft, an early um, warning aircraft and rotary aircraft. <clears throat> Carrier Air Wing 7 consists of FA-18 Super Hornets, <clears throat> EA-18G Growler Electronic Attack Aircraft, E-2 Hawkeye Early Warning Aircraft, and a number of rotary aircraft with um, multiple squadrons capable of carrying out a variety of operational tasks. I believe aircraft, uh, rotary aircraft are like helicopters. I believe. Um, cruiser U.S. Late, late Leeds Gulf. Um, this uh, missile guided guided missile cruiser are multi-role multi warships that run heavily armed with 122 vertical launch system cells capable of carrying <coughs> everything from Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles to surface to air missiles and anti-submarine anti-submarine warfare rockets and you're gonna need a lot of anti-submarine weaponry for when the Russians get involved. Four destroyers, US, USS Bainbridge, Gonzales, Mason, and Nitz. Like the, like the larger cruisers, destroyers are also multi-mission vessels armed with 90 to 96 VLS cells. These ships have air and, cert, air and missile defense capabilities as well as land attack abilities. Early in Trump's presidency, two U.S. Navy destroyers devastated this air base with um, 59 Tomahawk cruise missiles to punish the Syrian regime in the aftermath of a chemical weapons attack. And the United States fabricated that? Yeah, that's a lie. And that was a bold-faced lie. Man. Yeah, because they was... Uh, yeah, a lot, of those <coughs> shot, a lot of those got shot down. They shot over 100 in, into that region, but a lot of them got shot down. Mm -hmm. Uh, B-52s. The B-52 is a subsonic high-altitude bomber capable of carrying nuclear and conventional payloads. These hard-hitting aircraft can carry up to 70,000 pounds of varied um, ordnance and can be deployed to carry out various missions including strategic attack, close air support, air uh, in interdiction, and offensive counter air and maritime operations. Fighters, F uh, F seventeen Sea Eagles, the F or F fifteens, the F fifteens in in the region were reportedly seen carrying live missiles, including the six AIM uh, one twenty advanced medium range air to air missiles, and two AIM nine X Sidewinders for air to air combat. The driver reports, uh, the Pentagon has not specified, specifically announced the movement of these fighters as a response to Iran, but the timing of the re re repositioning is noteworthy, so it's the timing of it. And then, uh, just to close out, it says um, amphibious landing ships. They have everything. They have a mobile airfield. They got jets, bombers, helicopters, and it says they have amphibious landing ships. So they can actually land troops onto the shores, too. They have fucking everything over there right now. They got sea, weaponry, they got air, air, land, submarine. This is a well, oh, this is a well so thought out move, move, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They thought everything fucking out. They got they got they had a system to defend and attack everything right now. 
over there right now. And they trying to trap them up. So this they, says they getting ready for war. They getting ready for war. Mm -hmm. This says amphibious landing ship USS Arlington, a San Antonio class amphibious transport dock, is able to move Marines, amphibious assault vehicles, conventional landing craft, and rotary aircraft to support amphibious assaults, special operations, or expeditionary warfare missions, depending on explained in a statement Friday. And lastly, it says air and missile defense Patriot battery. A Patriot battery is, according to the Department of Defense, a long-range all-weather air defense system with the ability to eliminate certain threatening tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and advanced aircraft. Everything's over there right now. Mm. They, Esau literally sent everything over there that they need to fuck shit up. It's everything except for the kitchen sink, man. Y'all both got it, man. Time. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse... <clears throat> 10, well, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And that's what's happening right now. A lot of the weak nations by like Iran. Uh, there was once weak. Um, North Korea, they still bluffing at uh, the U.S. China, Russia, the <coughs> power. They're coming up against America. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let them weak. Let the weak say I am strong. So instead of, and even America, they putting all their money within the military uh, mm -hmm. might. That's what these other nations are doing. Instead of building up the economy with jobs and stuff like that, uh, putting their money towards agriculture, they really putting their money in the uh, military might. And that's really gonna um, affect this economy soon because that's gonna go into the prophecy of Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter, man. The grinding shall cease. Mm -hmm. you know, everything. It's not gonna be these. Uh, <clears throat> these retail stores are closing. That's already a sign. These retail stores are closing. So it's going to be more and more job closings as these days progress into World War III. Yeah. If I can make a quick point a quick point to land back up what the brother said, but Esau even has the people programmed in that, in that sense too mm -hmm. because Esau has it. Esau has the economy fucking perfectly tuned right now mm -hmm. to try to maximize it. So, and you know, every, and all these American people are living paycheck to paycheck, okay? So when you have a little bit of a rockiness and turbulence in, in the economy, and all, like the brother said, the grinding, the grinding um, uh, is low and, the, and, comes to, and comes to a cease, and the, um, the unemployment rate goes up, World War III is gonna kick off, and people are gonna be happy to put their labor and their energies towards the war effort, right. not only to support their, their country, but also to get back to fucking work. Mm -hmm. if, if unemployment hits, Eight, nine, ten, fifteen percent, and Esau it has pre-programmed the people to that um, that war is good for the economy. Yeah, get in, get in the army. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can advance your college career and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, even going to World War II, um, mm -hmm. that's when a lot of women came into the workforce. Right. They were doing uh, they were doing a lot of things to you know build war planes. Uh, 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 box, uh, you know, food and medicines to send to the troops in, uh, o o over in uh, uh, Europe and Africa uh, and, you know, certain parts of Asia, you know, so Esau ha has people, Esau has, listen man, Esau has this thing planned out to a fucking T, but he just, he just doesn't understand that he can't overcome the prophecies that are written against him. Yeah, that's why he made the move yet, because he know these other nations they're gonna retaliate, and, and you know he still got that promise painted in, in the people's head, like everything is gonna be all right in the midst of going to war. Mm -hmm. So y'all brothers got it. I, oh, I, I got one more question. <clears throat> Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. There that cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathens be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. So. In the midst of this, the Lord will come down with the angels while they fighting over there in, the, uh, uh, in the Mesopotamia, over there in the east. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So the time is, the time is right for this World War, this third World War. Right. Mm -hmm. I got something right quick. Okay. So Ecclesiastes chapter 1, and I'm going to just jump down to verse 8. To everything there is a season in a time to every purpose under the heaven. And going down to verse eight, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. 
And we're most definitely in a time of hate and most definitely in a time of war, man. With all these prophecies speaking, um, everything that Yahweh Shai was is talking about in Matthew, the 24th chapter, is happening, man. Mm -hmm. Earthquakes in diverse places, nation against nation, race riots is brewing up. Um, you got uh, <clears throat> pestilence, of course. But with the apostles lesson they did last week about the Black Death Plague over there in um, Mongolia, all right, um, people getting quarantined. Best believe it's coming here, all right. It's worldwide, and um, the wars and rumors of wars, man. And this mm -hmm. is another lesson about the wars and rumors of wars, and further leading up to this um, uh, World War Three. Kind. Is you on that? Yeah, I'm finished. I got this. some. <clears throat> this is um. <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 35, I'm going to start at the top and then jump down. Ezekiel 35 and 1, and moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Um, so I'm going to continue on. Verse 3, and say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Behold, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy city's waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Most High, Yahweh Shimi Shai, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh Shimi Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Verse uh, Ezekiel 35 and 7. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it, cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. Okay? So all these things <clears throat> are a continuation of the wickedness of Esau, man. The wickedness of Esau, even the so-called white race. Okay? Including... Um, their perpetual hatred against the, Lord, the Heavenly Father's chosen people, man. Israel, all right? Mm -hmm. So-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, the confusion of face, <clears throat> man. All right? So because not only of Esau, Edom's hatred of our people, of, of our nation, nation of Israel, okay? And their um, their love and affinity for, for warfare and blood and, you know, committing all types of uh, uh, abominations and wickedness and pushing those demonic energies, you know, throughout the world. Because of all those transgressions against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, prep, is preparing them to be uh, uh, delivered up to the sword, man. Okay, because they trusted so much in that blessing, okay, and didn't want to do anything, in essence, to just please the Heavenly Father in a peaceful, you know, uh, solemn uh, uh, state and spirit. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to have to just, you know, bring them bring to the meat grinder, man. That's right. Yeah, that's a snare for Esau. His own, his own uh, uh, pride. Yeah, That's what his own pride, his own blessing is going to <coughs> destroy him. Okay, in which, Lord willing, the blessing that we have access to is going to actually lead us to salvation in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the snare that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh set up for Esau Edom is that their blessing is going to be the um, the instrument of their downfall. That's right. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, anybody's got any uh, closing scriptures? La. All right. So, uh, you know. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, more good news for us, more bad news for you other nations, man. Yeah. All right, and with that, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And once again, peace, love, and salutation to all you Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing His truth and truth sincerity. Lord willing, we can come back at you next time with another lesson. Till the end, shall one. Shall one.